Okay, we're back with the video brain, and this time we're going to show you a game that actually appears in prototype form in the uh, uh, patent for its uh, video chip. And the game is, surprisingly enough, tennis. And we'll start that off quickly for you guys. There we go. There goes the ball boy. Now, I've only got myself to play here, so I'm going to be playing both sides. And uh, a couple of features that uh, you can notice about the Video Brain's... Uh, <laughs> bouncing off the top there. Video Brain's video system is you see that audience at the top there? The uh, five guys? That's actually one uh, binary representation repeated across the uh, object several times. That's one of the features of the video chip of the video brain. Uh, a negative feature, uh, you'll notice after I hit the ball, is that it disappears as it goes across the line. That's because objects are not allowed to overlap on the video brain. If they do overlap, the uh, secondary object basically gets cut and anything else after it is cut off as um, I can show you with bits of, uh, well, you can find it on my website. Anyway, so here we go. Tennis regular. And it automatically returns it to me, even though it, well, I guess it, I'm playing single player mode. And you can notice the guys at the top actually follow the ball-ish. And there we go. And basically, this is how it continues in regular mode until you run out of uh, serves on your side, and then the other guy gets to serve. There he goes. Yeah. So now I'll show you some of the various modes, which are rather interesting. <coughs> the first is just a fastball. So we'll go to that now. And you notice it gives you a different color background to tell you which game you're in. So here goes fast. Uh, oh. And the ball does speed up if you keep hitting it over time, regardless of which mode you're in. But this one starts off faster. I guess about as fast as it goes. Okay, and the next mode it's bounce back, which is interesting. There we go. Now bounce back is a bit tricky. You hit the ball and then you gotta hit it again because it bounces back to you. And then it goes across. And if he hits it, he's gotta do the same thing. And when you hit an odd angle, it gets really fun to try and hit that back. Oops, darn it. There we go again. And I set it up on the way. That's okay, he didn't catch it, so that's what counts. <laughs> and that's it for that one. And now curveball. There we go. Now we're going to get curveballs. Supposed to be putting English on the ball. You see it bounce there. And apparently the curves get wilder as. Uh, as he managed to hit them back and forth. Let's see if I can get one to him this time. Well, that. 
I uh, don't think I'm ever going to get it to him. Okay. And now, of course, you can mix them. So let's try a bounce back curveball. This should be fine. There we go. Okay, here goes nothing. Oops, you can stop bouncing around there at the bottom. There we go. And of course you can go for the all-out game, which is uh, fast bounce back and curve ball. Oh, there it is. Ah, pink! <laughs> I hadn't tried that one before. Uh, I didn't expect that background color. There you go. Double hit, fast balls, and wild angles. He hits it back. Yeah, hey, I got one to him. Ah! <laughs> there we go. And it's his turn. Now, this is a regular game. You can also have uh, rushing the net, two players rushing, and four player game if you got extra controllers. I've only got the two controllers and only myself to play with today, so <laughs> that's all we're going to see. So I hope you enjoyed that, and that's it for now. Thank you. Enjoy.